complicated plan, you know. Hurry it up, Mr. I have a brilliant idea. Yeah, yeah, quiet in the peanut gallery. All right, let's open these up. The first one says, Ace requests door one. Yes, I do. Would you like me to explain why? No, we don't have time for that. Sorry, let's keep going. Next is Santa. He wants door six. Yeah, that's what I wrote. Clover wants one, Lotus wants two, and Seven also wants two. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, there is no way I'm going anywhere with the Elephant Man. No, there'd be no point to the voting if we let people change their choices because of stuff like that. But... No. Just give it up, Lotus. It's not like I want to hang out with some exhibitionist grandma. I am not an exhibitionist. I'm wearing clothes. Barely. So, last I checked, that's not a crime. Maybe. But what about common decency? Nobody wants to have to look at a chick who looks like a half-naked raisin. I'm gonna kill you! Oh, not good. Let go! Let go of me! I'm killing him! Junpei, read the rest. Uh, right. June wants door six. Yes, I don't really have a reason. I just felt like it. So this was everyone's vote. Ace and Clover requested door one. Seven and Lotus requested door two. June requested door six. Then the door I should choose is... Okay, the last one is mine. I want to go through... My choice is door two. Hey, wait a minute there. You cheating? Cheating? I'm asking if you changed your number after you heard what doors we wanted. How could I do that? I wrote it down on the paper earlier. Let me see that. Sure, here. I had three pieces of paper ready. Door six on it into the pot. I just needed to make sure I drew last. After I saw everyone else's result, I just chose whatever door I wanted. If the number I'd already put in matched, then I didn't have to switch the paper out. Well, what does it say? <laughs> you got lucky. All right. So we know who's going through door two. It'll be me, Lotus, and Junpei. The only problem is the other two teams. June and I want door six. Clover and I choose door one. That's not good. We can't open either of those doors with only two people. Hmm. <sighs> hmm. Why don't Santa and June go into door one with Ace? Huh? Well... Then what will you do, Clover? I'll be... waiting... at the stairs. You guys are coming back here, right? That's what Seven was saying, wasn't it? We aren't gonna be split up permanently till we find door 9. We might get we might separated, separated for a little while, but we'll see each other again. Otherwise, we won't be able to open door 9. And that's how the notary game works. I'm sorry, but I just want to be by myself for a while. You understand, right? Uh. 
Uh. All right, I'm going through door one. That all right with you, June? Yes. Well, we'll be going then. Let's move too. Yeah. Right, let's go. I won't see June for a while, but this was my choice. I'm just going to have to suck it up. Seven said we'd all see each other again, and I'm going to believe that. The other group went to A deck to go through door one. Clover joined them. Our group is on our way too. We're heading to the bottom deck using the elevators. I wonder what we'll find down there. You ready? Yeah, anytime. I'll go first. Let's go. <laughs> Where the hell is it this time? I don't see it. Oh, there it is! It's right there! <sighs> huh. <sighs> it stopped. Oh, yeah, it stopped. <sighs> Man, I'll never get used to that. I'm not sure it's something I'd want to get used to. We should finish this game before imminent death becomes a normal thing. <laughs> Damn right. All right. This hallway's pretty short, but it's got five doors. Three on the left, and only one on the right. Don't forget the last one at the end of the hall. Uh, but it's got a metal plate over it, so I doubt we're going to get anywhere that way. All right, let's get started. I think we'd probably better split up. You two okay with that? Yes, no problem. Sure thing. Then I'll take this first one. I'll try the one next to it. Well, I guess I'd better get started too. <laughs> 